How's it going folks? Adam here on behalf of Only SP to give my first impressions of Among the Sleep. This was developed and published by Krillbyte Studio. It came out on the 29th of May and is available right now on Steam for 18 euros and a 10% sale down from 20. Okay, um, I'm going to not show you, you probably heard about this game. These are my settings. I'm not going to touch a thing. Um, this is cra this game. It's crashed me twice. <laughs> Let me put it that way. I change a setting and I try and start the game. It crashes and says it cannot find my resolution. So I'm just going to leave all that alone. You had to look for yourself. Um, I'm going to dive straight into the se se second chapter because that's kind of just an introduction. This is a tutorial. This shows actually some gameplay. You play the role of a toddler looking for his mother after waking up and finding that she's gone. Terrifying, huh? You have your trusted companion, Teddy, who you can hog at any time to light up the worlds. You can walk upright, not very tall, are you? Or you can go down all fours and you're much faster. And you can crouch around things well, like this. This doesn't look too bad. <laughs> I hope the memory is close by. Yeah. So the mother is gone, you're trying to find her memories. In order to oh why is it chugging? It shouldn't chug like this. You're trying to find her memories to I don't know put her back together. It's not quite made clear why exactly, but you're just trying to find your mother. When you're on all fours, it controls magnificently. It feels really good. <laughs> I will give it that. Uh, however, standing up feels awkward, probably to encourage the player to be on all fours more than not. While upright, you can. I'll try there, I'll try and get a run up. You can sprint by holding shift, as with all PC games. And if you hold it long enough, you will fall over, fall over, fall over, fall over. Okay, yeah, if you hold it long enough, eventually you Whoa. fall down at all fours. Over there. It looks like another memory across that bridge. It does indeed. There are, it is meant to be kind of a an exploration slash horror game kind of a bit of fancy thrown in as well is there a way up this tower this is to be first puzzle you find at any point after picking up items you can hit tab and yeah can hit tab now this is the puzzle I'm basically it's a seesaw puzzle you've seen these in most games well not most games that's an exaggeration You've seen these games before. Oh, I can't. So I must find some more weights. You know, because this guy got a lift. Um, I will say that it is atmospheric. I found. You can hear the voice of laughing children. It is quite atmospheric. And this is uh, a pretty cool party game right here. Oh, here's another little thing. Oh, catch that. Pressing F to hug Teddy. Price is averted. Shh. We should be careful. Okay, and uh, one of the downsides is the fact that despite all of the creaks, all of the sound effects, all the the warnings from Teddy on your back, you're not in any danger. Uh ever. <laughs> you're not in any danger at all at any point in the game. And I think I go this way, yeah. Uh, I've you're able to just power through most sections well so far in the game I've done three chapters so these are my first impressions but so far I found that you can just power through it's it's not terribly scary there's one jump scare at the very beginning but not the beginning the second chapter which might get you because it's it's a jump scare is very very loud but overall I found it to be not terribly scary more interesting because the premise uh, more stuff like this, you know. It's trying to instill a bit of fear, but not really succeeding. Get this. Off we go. Woohoo! 
the chat. It's um, it's it's a it's a it's a neat game. Just the premise alone of playing as well, it's a toddler, which is I'm kind of surprised. I don't know if many games have done it before, or if any games have done it before. But the crawling feels great. The game handles well. Nice attention to detail. The fantasy lands are, are quite cool. But as a pure horror game, doesn't quite work. More of a fantasy story driven game. Okay, so is there anything else I can show you? Um, oh, climbing. Yes, climbing. I, you can climb this game. Like this. I, well, I, uh, ignore the terrible textures. I'm on playing on low. If you've got a nice computer than mine, it will look much better. There we go. And there's another one. This rotates. So yeah, climbing is just hit spacebar and up you go. Um, I will get us to... Where will I get us to? I'll get us to the... Oh look, footprints. Boom, 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 boom. I'm going to get us... I'm going to finish the puzzle and show you up around because it's a pretty cool scene involved in how you get the memories. Here's a, an example of a puzzle. I wonder, huh? I wonder. Oh, this I should be able to show interactions with objects. A little cursor in front of you. There you go. Click and drag. Try and true. And just open that. Pick this up. All fours and off we go again. See ya. That is Among the Sleep. Finish the puzzle, go up and up around the little tower, and then I'll show you what it means to get the memory. You can hear as in it's it's I will say the sound design. Oops. Is pretty cool. We're gonna go up to the very top of that. Ah Also how to Up we go, hit tab, look at all these. It's almost like they're meant to go there. Round and round we go. So what I'd say is, if this looks interesting to you, I'd say go for it. There are four memories from what I can make out. So four kind of def different, completely unique kind of places like this where I was just where you bring back the memory and open up a door to another section. I'll be able to show you that kind of the gateway in a bit. So here we are, nice and happy. <laughs> All right then, one more time, but that's it. So these are the examples of the memories. This is the memory of her playing the music box. Now that we've got that memory, it's time to bring it back. Oh, finally. We must be getting closer. Yes, that is how most uh, levels end, is you sliding down a pipe. And this is we kind of the back. main overworld. I didn't believe in evil before all this. Now I'm not so sure. We have to find a way to safety. Find a way out of this mess. Your mother. Oh, there's Teddy. She Adorable, isn't he? So worried about you. But don't be afraid. You and me will work this all out together. I know we will. Well, you know the ropes by now. Look at his lovely eyes. But yeah, here's the big door. I've got one, now I've got two, and there are four in total. And then I'm assuming one final area to get the mother back completely. 
So yeah, that is that. That is Among the Sleep. We will try and get a review up for it in the next mm, couple of weeks. You've got so many games to go through at the moment. It's uh, it's it's ridiculous. And with E3, we're so busy, but we'll try and get a review of this done in the next couple of weeks. So thanks for joining me. As, as I stated before, available right now on Steam for 18 euros, down from 20. It is developed and published by Krillbyte Studio. So, until next time, take care.